Jason from Fed. Very um, good, thank you. Can I uh, ask you first of all about the team news? Hugo aside, is everyone else available? Yeah, everyone else uh, is available for the next game. We are all disappointed about Hugo and uh, he's injured. But, however, we have a, a good experienced goalkeeper like Fraser Foster with a, a great experience in Premier League and a, a good experience in uh, Champions League. So we have a, a tough uh, uh, five weeks in front of us with uh, Fraser. We trust in Fraser, so we are happy to play with, with him in the squad. And also, we, we, say, we say to Hugo, see you soon again, because uh, he needs a, a good recovery. He needs uh, maybe between five, seven weeks to, to be back with us. In some ways, is it maybe a good thing for Hugo? He has made a couple of mistakes recently. He himself has said that he's maybe not as mentally sharp as he should be after the World Cup. Could it be a good thing that he comes back mentally refreshed as well as physically refreshed? No, it was better to have uh, Hugo with us. All the keeper made some mistakes sometimes, and it's not good to have an injury. And I think uh, uh, we cannot say this. We prefer to have Hugo with us, so that's it. But uh, he could use this time to be to recover also mentally if uh, he had uh, a heavy moment after the World Cup, but. Uh, Hugo was recovering well. He played uh, the last game, last games uh, very well. So, was a was a good moment for him. He recovered from the World Cup uh, completely. So, that's it. And on the subject of recovering well, how is Antonio, and will he be taking the team on Saturday? Antonio is back. This morning was uh, into the pitch uh, with us. He has to take it easy for a bit. But uh, and we are so we were so happy to meet him uh, again in the training ground. The player he spent time to hug uh, everyone into the training ground, and uh, we didn't speak about uh, uh, his uh, what he he would do in in the next match. But uh, he's back, and we are happy for that. And we have time to arrive uh, to the to the game uh, uh, ready also with Antonio. And you've reminded him that you've got a one hundred percent record. <laughs> <laughs> no, never, never. I, I spoke about this because uh, it's only a joke. Yeah. It's only a joke. Lindsay. Speaking about Hugo's absence, it's obviously an opportunity for Fraser as well. Um, different goalkeepers, different styles. What is it you like about Fraser's goalkeeping? First thing, I like Fraser like a like a man because he's a he's a very good man. His behaviour uh, in this season is was perfect. So every day he push himself to train hard, but really hard and. In, with this behavior, he pushed also Hugo to train very hard. So he's a, he's a, he's a great man before to be a, a great uh, goalkeeper because we don't have to, uh, to forget that uh, we have men before we have player. And uh, Fraser, I like Fraser. Uh, the difference between uh, Hugo is uh, we start uh, to think about uh, physically, he's a keeper perfect for the Premier League uh, style, uh, for the type of game uh, we, we are going to play in Premier League. He uses uh, both, uh, both uh, uh, feet when he plays with the ball, so uh, it, it will be interesting to see him uh, for uh, uh, some weeks to play with us and uh, we trust in him, we completely trust in him. There are some games that can be catalysts for the rest of the season. Is that how you're reflecting, especially as well with what Harry Kane achieved too, on the Manchester City result? Yes, there are there are sometimes a game, uh, and we spoke before the last game. Uh, if you reach and you win this type of game, you can create uh, 
a good momentum in, in the season. But to do this, uh, you have to win the next and the next and the next again. And to do this, uh, you have to work uh, well, uh, to be well prepared and uh, play with humility and don't lose uh, this, this aspect because uh, what changed uh, in our mind in the last period is uh, uh, the way we approach in the game. And we have to continue in this way, but to do that, we have to look uh, in between of us and uh, understand why we change. This is the most important thing. Excellent. Ian? Hi, Christian. How are you? Fine, thank um, you. With Saturday in mind, and maybe, maybe Antonio coming back, maybe not coming back, how much was last weekend your tactics, your game plan, or how much input did he have so therefore this weekend will be exactly the same as last weekend, just a different person standing on the touchline? But we, we knew very well uh, the way um, that City used to play, to keep possession, to do many passes, and we expect this type of game. We were aggressive in the first game uh, in their stadium. We were so aggressive. And we prepared the game uh, to be aggressive again. City surprised us uh, a bit in the start uh, using uh, Bernardo Silva in between two strikers, between the line, like number 10 uh, with two strikers. But we adapted immediately our pressure and our behaviour. But I think that... Uh, is not the most important thing. The most important thing is play with humility, be ready to suffer, and we prepare the game to suffer, and be active in the game. And this was uh, the best thing we show in this game. Uh, we, many times, we push them back with the ball and to don't uh, consider line breaks. And this was uh, the best uh, the best thing we did uh, in the last game. We prepared this type of game. We we reach our target and we won the game being aggressive. And this is very, was very important. But how much were they your tactics, your personal ones? Or was it a combination of you? And no, our tactic uh, came from the job that Antonio did for a long time. Uh, for me, it was easy to continue to continue to to work in the same uh, in the. You can change something, and we change something. I, uh, my, me and Ryan Mason, not because uh, I am here. I'm speaking only about me. Also, Ryan, we spoke immediately during the game. We have to change something, and we use Eric Dyer to be aggressive on Bernardo Silva. This was tactically the the aspect, the only aspect we change. But normally, we work, uh, continue, and follow what Antonio did since. Uh, he was uh, he was in charge. So uh, the last week was tough, but we we worked well. We worked uh, very well. And lastly, how much did you enjoy being the manager? <laughs> I I enjoy a lot. I enjoy a lot, but uh, uh, and we take uh, more responsibility. But uh, is a is a job we do with passion and being a manager, live uh, this type of experience was good uh, for me, but also for all the staff, because uh, all the staff was in charge uh, to work uh, with me. Cool. Ali? Hey, Christian. Um, you talk about aggression there. Obviously, you won Christian Romero uh, for this match. He's now, I think it's six yellow cards in his last six games. How do you stop him crossing that line, but keep the aggression, which clearly is a part of his game as well? Yeah, uh, to don't consider a yellow card, uh, you have to arrive on the ball uh, and, and use your tackle in the right time. So we can work on the timing. He has to jump, he has to tackle and uh, try to win uh, uh, to win the ball. We will work uh, into this aspect, keeping the same aggressiveness. Um, obviously, you've had now two, I think it's two weeks almost to work with Pedro Porro. I mean. What have you seen from him and what can he bring? He can bring uh, um, very good skill, he can bring experience. He's a, he's a young player with a great experience and technically he's a, he's a fantastic player. Uh, 
his enthusiasm to, to play in a new league, in a new team, could be a boost for us when, he, when we decide to use him. Thank you. Jack? Hi, Christian. Um, you talked about how against Manchester City, Eric Dyer would step forward into midfield when Tottenham didn't have the ball. Was that just a, a one-off for that, that occasion, or is this something we will see more often? There was a... In that moment, we need to use it, and we use it in a moment. If it uh, will happen again, uh, maybe we could use, but uh, we had uh, other solution to try to, to play in that game. Uh, we thought that was uh, the, the right solution, and we use it. But it's not the only one. Eric obviously had a, pretty, a very difficult spell before the World Cup, but his, against Manchester City, it looked like his best game for a long time. Do you feel that with him and maybe some of the other players, some of the confidence is starting to return? Yeah, it's not a return. Eric Dyer was uh, with us, like I said about uh, the keeper. Everyone can have has some moment uh, with uh, with problem. They are men before they are they are not robot. So uh, this season is particular, and for many teams is particular. We are not the only team that sometimes uh, uh, the performance of some player can drop a bit because it's normal. They are not a robot. So Eric Dyer is back. Eric Dyer played uh, some great game because it was not only this game he played very well. Also in Manchester, he played a, a great game. And in Fulham, he played a great game. So it's, it's a bit time that uh, Eric Dyer is back. Thanks, Jack. OK, in James, performance. finish this section with George after that, please. Appreciate it. Um, there's, there's been a lot of speculation about Antonio's future, what might happen next season, this contract. But what, whatever happens with him, I assume, will have an effect on, on you. And I just wondered if you two had ever talked about that, if that was something we ever discussed. No, we never talk about that. Because uh, I maybe I said uh, one time, and we are so focused on the moment and the next game, the next training, the next uh, step we have to do it, uh, next solution we have to try to to create and to build uh, in the team. So we never, we have never speak about, spoken about this. Is it not difficult for you though to not know whether you might have a job for, or not? For me? Season? For you, yeah. I just wanted on a personal level if you're sort of relaxed about that. In, uh, in football, you cannot be relaxed. If you have a contract, or if you, if you don't have a contract, it's not uh, never. You can be relaxed. You have to work hard. And uh, uh, when you approach uh, on the next uh, game you have, uh, you cannot be relaxed. You leave this uh, like uh, with energy because you want to win. So uh, you don't have time to, sp to talk about the future. This is our life. This is football. This is sports. You think about the next uh, uh, target you have to achieve. The next, uh, what you want to to achieve is uh, is only about this. So, and you are not relaxed because you have a contract. Okay, finish with George, please. Hi, Christian. Um, you've obviously got Leicester on Saturday, but you, you've also got the AC Milan game on Tuesday. Do you have to consider the AC Milan game when you do selection for this weekend, or is it completely just the first one ahead of you? Yeah, maybe we have to consider also uh, next week is a, is a week that we have to play three games. So you have to think about all the week. And so AC Milan uh, is a game that we play in this week. Uh, and then uh, we have another tough game uh, at home against uh, West Ham. And so, yes, of course, you think about this. But the most important thing is the next one, next step, step by step, we try to, uh, and we pick up every time the team that we think is uh, the best team to win uh, the next game and to prepare the team for all the week. Just finally, for me, the team will be playing Leicester tomorrow. Um, the women's team are going to be playing at the stadium on Sunday against Man United. Um, I guess it's going to be a great occasion for them. And, you're hoping that, like you guys did against the Manchester team last weekend, they can they can beat the Manchester team this weekend. Yeah, we wish uh, we wish them all the best. 
is a, is an important game that they play at, at our stadium and uh, we expect uh, 30,000 people if it's possible plus one because I would like to go with them to to feel and I met uh, part of uh, their staff sometimes and uh, I can feel uh, the passion they use uh, in their job uh, and the, the passion they they use to try to be better every day. You can feel this, they transfer to me uh, a lot of uh, passion and I enjoy to talk with, with them about uh, football, about uh, their experience. So I would like to to be at the stadium to watch their, their game. Perfect.